Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and today people are going to die because for some reason people trust me to be a structural engineer. Today we're going to be checking out Poly Bridge 3. One of my favorite little indie games was Poly Bridge, and I'm so excited to see that they are continuing to release different games into the series. And uh, yeah, today we're going to be checking out the brand new one, and I'm super excited to get into it. Uh, now, I did do a few of the starting levels, they're very, very easy. Um, generally how this game works, the further you go all along, the harder the bridges are. So yeah, I thought I would just skip those and we're getting right into the fun stuff. We got under plane, so a plane is going... Well, I was gonna say it's going under the bridge, but actually we might want to build the bridge underneath the plane. You know what, just for pride, I want to see if I can build over the plane. Just because this is going to feel really cool if I can actually do it. Alright, so we got something like that. I don't really care about uh, money, so we're probably going to be using lots of steel on this bridge. Because this is not how you're supposed to do this. Can I bring this down a little bit? I want to connect to a steel if I can. There we go. And you know what? Let's try our luck with some wood up top. Now, I am using the auto triangulate feature, which is really, really nice for quickly doing triangles here. Obviously, this bridge is not perfectly uniform at all. I just want to see if we can actually do anything with this. All right. And then we'll do some small triangles here. And then we'll connect like that. All right. And bam, this can't go wrong at all. I'm actually shocked it can even stand up. Um, Well, damn it. Now what do I do? Just got to lower that incline just a little bit. And there we go. The truck should make it now. Oh, God damn it, man. All right, there. Come on. Get some grip, little truck. You can do it. I'm actually shocked this is staying. No problem at all. We're only at 51%. Uh, so we have lots of room. Problem is the uh, police car is probably not going to make it. Never mind. That is way better than the truck. I thought the truck would be the easy one. All right. And there we go. We built a bridge over a plane. Somehow, even with me not being serious at all, I'm in the top 45% of players. Mind you, as you can see, not many people are playing because I'm in 21st right now. All right. So that went better than expected. And uh, I wasn't even taking it seriously. Uh, using limited steel, build a bridge that avoids the boat. Limited steel. I'm just going to use all wood. Screw you, game. You, don't, you can't tell me what to do. All right, so if we do something like that, we might be able to do this with steel. Obviously, I didn't put my roadways perfect, but yeah, we'll just do something like this. And man, I love this new feature. It's so easy to build bridges so fast. Is that going to actually work? This is a heavy truck. So, ooh, 67, 69. No problem. Never mind. Problem. Problem. Come on, you can do it. Oh. All right, so we'll just add a little reinforcement here. I've also increased the size of these. I don't know if that helps or make it worse. Again, I am not an engineer, so don't ask me. I have played this game a bit, though, or at least the games before this one. So I do understand how to make bridges. And there we go. Look at that. I didn't need any damn metal at all. And that puts me in 11th place, top 26%. Oh, all right. We have our first checkpoint. So we got to drop off at A and then make our way to the end. I wonder if I could do like some sort of landing ramp just for fun. Obviously, these starting levels are pretty easy. So I'm just screwing around essentially. All right, I'm going to try and lean these supports on the wall. And yeah, just for added fun, we're going to try and do a little bit of a jump if we can. There we go. Well, I don't think I'm going to be able to land this. That's for damn sure. I thought for sure the metal would be good. Um, unfortunately, we only get two steel beams, so it's not like I could add much more metal to this. Oh! Oh! Oh, I just moved this up a bit. Yo, so... Oh, that was amazing. So, yeah, I just made it so it was a bit of a smoother landing, because if you remember, it was down uh, closer to, like, here. I probably screwed it up now. So, I lifted that up so it was smoother. Also, it extended the wood beams a bit. Damn it! I ruined it now, but I should be able to fix it again here. Hold on. Oh, I like that it shows you which beam breaks. I don't know if that's a new thing or not. Again, it's been a while since I last played. And there we go. Look at that! I mean, I didn't need to add a jump, but that was fun, so I'm doing it anyways. What happened to this poor guy? Wait, what? Oh my god! You- that- <laughs> That bridge is so much better than mine! Seems like a lot of people have the same idea as me. Let's not build a simple bridge and do stupid things like bounce it off the rock. I didn't think about that. Bouncing it off the rock, that would have been brilliant. All right, well, moving on to the next one. We have two collection points in the middle here. It looks like A's both leave at the same time, I believe. So I'm thinking immediately we have to do a little jump. I mean, again, we can build a simple bridge if we want to, but let's do a little jumpy bridge in the, in the, in the center. I think that'll be fun. To grab the star. All right, so we got something like that. Now, before anything, let's make sure this even works. So, do we get the jump going? Ooh. 
Oh, that, that went way worse than expected. This is why you try things out. What the hell happened to the Jeep? Or the truck in the back? Did it actually flip over? Come on, are you serious? All right, y'all excited for this massive jump? Oh, <laughs> I didn't expect it to fail. Oh, damn it. All right, well, um, do I want to add metal here or should I just reinforce with more wood? Let's try that. Oh, oh, damn it. Okay, yeah, we're gonna need some damn metal. Oh, one broke. Oh my god. Okay, well, just one broke. I guess that's fine. The bridge is still up. That's the important part. Unfortunately, didn't get under budget for that, but obviously I'm not taking budget very seriously right now. I also love that I had 100% stress, hence the broken beam. All right, let's move on. And now we are on world two. All right, there's no way this can go poorly, right? It's not even connected, so I don't even think it's gonna... Wow, I didn't expect that to <laughs> hold up at all. All right, so let's do this the boring way and see if we can just use ropes. We might need to actually build some sort of bridge, but no, that's totally fine. Obviously super easy. And there we go. That should be a pretty cheap one too. Oh, actually it costs, I didn't realize ropes cost that much. I'm at the bottom 3%. Oh, there's no excuses to that. All right, so yeah, ropes are way too much. So we're gonna have to do some sort of bridge beforehand. Um, because the wood is pretty cheap, and I wonder if we can just connect them, like, maybe one of these. Uh, let's not do it that way, because I want to actually do triangles, and there we go. And yes, I know I should be using grid. I'm just having... I don't like grid in, uh, this game. I like to just freehand it, but I know it's probably smarter to be using grid. All right, that's about as cheap as I'm gonna get it. 60, 72, 75. Not bad. Not bad at all. That should be a hell of a lot better. 21,000 to 30 something. Yeah, I'm in the top 18% now. Top 10, baby. A cable stayed bridge is a bridge with vertical towers and straight cables at an angle supporting the bridge deck. So yes, obviously this cable is going to be holding up the majority of the bridge. Um, and I guess it just wants me to build the rest of it. All right, so I wonder if I can keep this kind of cheap and do a jump here to avoid building and supporting more road. Uh, this should be able to hold quite a bit with just a couple cables. So, let's even see if that's doable. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Okay, maybe not. Close. Close. Okay, so added another cable support on the other side and just have a very simple wooden bridge. And... Oof, man, why are these cars so slow? I wish we had faster cars in this game. All right, well, we should be able to make it if we just add one more here. <gasps> oh! Hold on to it. Did you see that? Oh my God. Literally cliffhanging. Max stress, obviously 100%. And I'm in the top 1%. Oh, because everyone's building boring bridges. I don't think I've built a bridge yet in Poly Bridge. Oh, actually I did build one, didn't I? That was a beautiful ending though. You can't get closer than that. I was literally on two wheels. Check that out. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, I love it. It can't you can't get better than that. All right, this one should be a bit better because we got a buggy. I'm assuming they're a little bit faster. Oh, and it's made for jumping. Okay, well, um, maybe I should build a, a bridge on jump levels. I also love how this game builds a little jump for you, like you don't know what a jump is. Thanks, game. I appreciate it. Um, okay, this should be I don't even know if we need anything more than this. So if we just go like this. Are we pretty much good? I don't even want to use metal. I should be able to support this with wood. So let's use wood and we'll go to the top for the rest of this. And blammo. I don't think that will actually support it, but only one way to find out. Yeah, that... Oh, duh. Of course that's not going to support it. All right, so what about something like that? I don't think this will do it, but... Ooh, again, if it breaks, I don't care. I do see that we have a connect point back here. So it does want me to build that giant metal um, cable support. I don't think I want to, though. I think we might, if we change the trajectory of this, maybe add one more to this and somehow be able to support it. I think we might be good. Oh, actually, we can't add any more roadways. Okay, never mind. Hmm. This is actually going to be hard, then. Yes! Yes! Okay, I got it. I just had to add a crap load of wood beams. It's still worth it, though, because wood's only $180 a meter. If I wanted to add one rope, it would have costed way more at $220 a meter because uh, it is so far away. And then, obviously, metal is insane. So, bridge broke or jumped this time, but we got it. And that should be very low budget. Top 39? Wow, people did that very, very cheaply. Maybe going the support route might have been a better idea. I don't know. I'm still 14th, so that's pretty good. On, quantum leap. I love the sound of that. Um. Okay. 
What is this? Is this Back to the Future? This is so cool. All right, so yeah, we only have five roadways, so we do have to obviously jump this. All right, so we'll just use a metal uh, cable here just to see if... Whoa! Oh, I didn't expect that. Wow, this is going way too well. That was only three out of the five pieces. Um, top 10%. I'm in fourth. I feel like I could actually maybe get top three easily. No anchors in the middle. Try resting your bridge on the island. Okay. Well, you're already doing that for me. Hmm. Okay, well, this will be interesting. So on paper, because we're going to be resting on the ground, we shouldn't need any supports there. So as long as we build enough of a support to get over these holes, uh, we should be good. So I'm trying to make this as lean as possible as per usual. I might need to do both top and bottom. Uh, transport trucks are obviously pretty heavy. All right, I feel like I'm getting somewhere. I have deleted all the road on the island. And we're holding together. So what we obviously want to do now is maybe just go crazy with wood. This might be all we need. Assuming we can actually get up there. Come on. Yes. All right. I don't know if that was a, a better idea or a worse idea than just simply building a bridge. 15,000. I'm in the top 26, top eight. I got to assume that was done pretty cheaply considering I didn't have roadway in the center. All right. So I'm happy with that. Okay. So this is going to be interesting though because both go at the same time. So we are going to have to go up and over one and below another. Oh, wait. No, we don't. We just have to go to the center because uh, we only have six roadways. So that would be impossible. So literally all we have to do is that. And I should be able to build this very cheaply. Does this connect over here? Okay, it doesn't. That's where it's going to get interesting then because uh, this doesn't connect to the shelf here. Um, so how the hell am I going to deal with that? I'm going to have to support it all from the one side, obviously. So I might actually need to use metal. I don't think, yeah, wood is not going to be enough, unfortunately. All right, there we go. And actually, I go, was able to get the bridge to not break. So, can we flip this? I forget if you can flip, but you can copy and paste. All right, and I can flip it. So, we can just simply put this over here now. And bam. I think they should be the same weight. So, we should be perfect. And there we go. That should be a nice cheap one once again. Top 9%. Oh, God damn it. RCE beat me by a lot. RCE, God damn it. Okay, so I'm thinking. I want to see if I can get this down. We might be able to do this... I don't think it's going to work with two. As you can see, I'm trying to do a jump now. But yeah, I don't think I'll ever be able to get it close enough to only use two. But you don't have to use a full roadway. You can kind of go for a small one. Obviously, that's going to be way cheaper. So I think doing a jump is the way to go if you want to go cheap. Also, with the smaller length, I'm not going to need to use metal most likely. So if we do something like that and just do the smallest piece of beam, can I make it with that? Oh, please tell me. Damn it. Now it's breaking. Oh, you jerk. All right, so I got it to work with metal. Let's see if that's any cheaper. So we're just going to copy and paste this over there. I don't think it's going to be cheaper only because I'm using metal. But, I mean, it's pretty light as well in terms of other materials. So, please. 7,000! <laughs> Get wrecked, RC. All right, now we're getting to the fun stuff. We got a hydraulic bridge. Uh, looks like we have two boats going through. Is it multiple hydraulic bridges? Oh, it made one for me to show me how to do it. And then I need to make my own. So that's how you should make a hydraulic bridge. We're probably not going to do it that way, though. That's no fun. All right. Well, I think I'm on to something here. So I'm building a drawbridge, but a draw... Is it really a drawbridge? It's just a lift bridge. It just lifts it all the way up. So you might be asking what the hell's going on here. I don't know. My logic is I need to connect two hydraulics together to go high enough, I'm assuming, to make it above this. So, oh, wow, that's actually kind of perfect. Okay, sick. All right, now, obviously, this isn't done yet because this is going to fall out of the sky. Wait, is it? Oh, my God, that held for way longer than expected. That was actually cool. Okay, had some problems with the split joint, so I have the road totally disconnected from anything. Uh, because it wasn't splitting the other way for some reason. I, I might be doing something wrong. I'm still very much learning. Uh, but this looks good. I feel like it's got enough support. We actually probably don't need any this anymore. I was troubleshooting uh, some issues with that breaking. But I added more steel beam support at the bottom. Oh my god! Is it actually going to work? I think that's high enough. Oh, it is. That is. That might be one of my favorite bridges I've ever done in this game. Uh, now, I still don't know if he's going to be able to get onto it because it technically has a little bit of a lip off the ground. Please. Please, little guy. No! Oh, my God. It's so weak. Oh, and of course, what broke is what I changed from metal to um, wood. But I might need more support 
because any movement on this bridge and it's just going to flop over. There really isn't any outward support in this bridge. So yeah, it really is a stupid design, but it's a cool looking stupid design. I don't know how I'm going to fix this though because I can't connect down to this bridge because this bridge has to move. So all the support needs to be at this top structure. So before I go crazy, what if I... I it's the hit that knocks it over. So if I... If I can not affect this bridge much, it should hold up. It's just when it sways left and right by the uh, vehicle hitting it, that's when things are going to end badly. It's still going to probably fall apart. But if I can smoothly get on this bridge, so I lowered it a bit, I might actually be okay. Okay? Okay? Dude, that bridge is so close to breaking. Oh, that was freaking beautiful. Obviously, way over-engineered and way too expensive. But it's beautiful, and that's all that freaking matters. I love how max stress was 95% too. Oh, can't get much better than that. All right, so once again, we're shown how to normally do it. I don't like doing things normally, though. So we got a simple, small drawbridge in the middle to let the submarines through. Don't know why the submarines aren't just going deeper, the jerks. But I guess, actually, they really can't, because that's the ground right there. Um, But yeah, the way you're supposed to do it, and uh, the way I do it, is going to be two totally different things. All right, this should be really easy, and it's one of my most favorite ways to do this, which is switch these beams for hydraulics. And I didn't think about that. Um, yeah, we still need support. How? Oh, hmm. Huh. This could be interesting. All right, well, thankfully, we got these connect points on both sides. Let's see if that will work. Look, it might look so much cooler. It's actually easier to do as well. That's kind of over-engineered. This is the way I would do it, and clearly it worked just fine. But it is nice to see the different ways you can do these same things. And there we go. Can it support the limo? Oh, I don't know, actually. This thing is not very well made. Oh, may maybe it is. I'm not sure what the planes are for, but hey. At least they look pretty going by. I guess if you were to build too high, I don't know how you would build that high, though. But yeah, there we go. We got some more drawbridges done. All right, and I think that's a good first look at Poly Bridge 3. I am super excited to play some more of this game if you guys are enjoying it, of course. Looking at the campaigns, we only made it to almost the end of campaign number two. As you can see, there is quite a few more uh, that are to be unlocked, and there's also workshop support uh, with some levels already being made. Now, this game isn't out yet, but um, it is going to be going coming out on May the 30th, so you should be seeing this coming out pretty soon here, and uh, once it's out to the public, I would love to check out some workshop levels, because those might challenge me truly. But yeah, super excited to get back into Polybridge. If you guys are enjoying it, of course, let me know in the comments below, and we'll definitely do some more bridge building, or I guess just, you know, crazy ramp building, more or less. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.